Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the location and structure of the vascular bundles in the roots, the stem and the leaves of plants. In the last video we looked at why plants need specialised transport systems. And remember that you only need to describe the transport systems in herbaceous dicotyledonous plants. Now in plants we have two different transport systems. These are called the xylem and the phloem. We'll be looking at both the xylem and the phloem in detail in later videos. The xylem carries water and mineral ions from the roots of the plant up the stem to the leaves. Phloem tissue, on the other hand, transports organic molecules such as sugars produced by photosynthesis in the leaves. These molecules can move in the phloem down the plant to the roots or up the plant to the flowers. Now the xylem vessels and the phloem vessels are grouped together in vascular bundles and the arrangement of the vascular bundles is different in the roots, the stem and the leaves. I'm showing you here a cross section of the root of a buttercup which is a herbaceous dicotyledonous plant. In the centre of the root we can see the vascular bundle which is also called the steel and at the edge we can see a root hair. I'm showing you here a simplified diagram of the root cross section. Root hair cells grow from a layer of external tissue called the epidermis. We then have a thick layer of cells called the cortex. The cortex contains parenchyma cells which are found extensively in plants. In the centre of the root we have the vascular bundle. This is surrounded by a layer of cells called the endodermis. We'll be looking at the endodermis in more detail when we look at how water moves through the root. In the vascular bundle we have the xylem vessels in the centre with the phloem vessels around the xylem. Now xylem vessels are mechanically strong and because they're grouped together in the centre of the root this helps to prevent the root from being pulled out of the soil, for example by strong winds. Okay, I'm showing you here a cross section of a plant stem. As you can see, the vascular bundles are arranged in a ring around the edge of the stem. I'm showing you here a simplified diagram of the stem cross section. The centre of the plant stem is called the pith and this consists of parenchyma cells. Around the edge we have the epidermis and the cortex. Within the vascular bundles, the phloem vessels are located around the edge of the stem and the xylem vessels are found closer to the centre. Now because the vascular bundles are around the edge of the stem, this helps the stem to withstand bending due to the wind. Ok, this shows a cross section of a leaf and we can see the main vascular bundle in the centre. This part of the leaf is called the midrib and as well as transport, this also provides support to the leaf. The leaf is also supported by smaller vascular bundles connected to the main one. In the leaf, the xylem is at the upper part of the vascular bundle and the phloem is at the lower part. Photosynthesis mainly takes place in the palisade mesophyll, which is in the upper half of the leaf. Ok, in the next video, we look at the function of the xylem. 